Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockreiner, and Thursday's story is baseball cyber espionage. Before I jump in, sorry that I missed the video on Tuesday and Wednesday. I had an off-site meeting Tuesday, and I had to travel to Sacramento to give a security talk at UC Davis on Wednesday. Do note, if you subscribe to our blog or the YouTube channel, you'll get the videos right when I post them. Anyways, back to baseball hacking. According to a New York Times article, the FBI is investigating allegations that employees from the St. Louis Cardinals hacked the Houston Astros network work to steal valuable data. Basically, there's a very important employee from the Cardinals that was known for creating a statistical database that helped them create a very good team. He eventually left the Cardinals and went to the Astros. But according to these allegations, employees at the Cardinals went through his master passwords from when he was with them and used one of those passwords to authenticate and log into the Astros network and steal a lot of important statistical player information. Now, this is an interesting story. We've heard tons about a nation-state cyber espionage, but this is one of the first stories I've seen recently talking about private organizations using cyber attacks to spy on one another, and I suspect we'll see more businesses doing this in the future. What can we learn about this? Well, this is all about authentication. This was not a big hack. Basically, because the particular ex-employee didn't change his passwords, his password was reused in this attack. So it's an important message that you need to use different passwords everywhere, whether it be different websites or different organizations you work for. Change your password. Another note, as you're thinking about authentication in your organization, as you lose employees, you need to make sure to revoke their credentials and their certificates so that they can't be used against you in the future if that uh, employee has any sort of vengeful motivations. Anyways, interesting story, especially if you're interested in baseball be sure to check the link in the blog post. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.